Hi there. Welcome to your OPAC lesson. I'm Shalane Burkett, the librarian at Lockhart. This is presented to you by the Super Librarians of Sunflower County. So this is talking about OPAC. What in the world is OPAC and why do we need it? Well, OPAC is our online public access catalog. We call it the online catalog for short. This is how it was done before we did it online. We had these old card catalogs. They're really beautiful pieces of furniture, but you had to look very hard to find the book that you wanted. Books were in catalogs by keyword or subject or author or title or even other ways like maybe by the award it won and you had to flip through all of these cards in the catalog if you go in your library now almost all libraries still have some of these old card catalogs but they're not in use anymore did we really use those old things? Yes, Glenda, we really did. So why do we need OPAC? Well, we need it to find the books in the library that are of interest to us or the ones that we are using for research. OPAC tour, can't find what you're looking for? You keep calm and you call your super librarian. She's able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Well, not really, but she can show you how to do any search. So let's go. Okay, the fastest way to get to OPAC is to go to your school website and at the top bar, you'll see library. Click on it. After you do that, you'll notice it where it says school library, internal link and external link. Internal link means you're at school. So when you're at school, you click on that one. External link means you're not, you're at home or some other place. So click that one if you're not at school. When you do, this is what you'll see open up. At the top in the middle, it'll have the name of your school. It's going to look like this KidViz version if you're in elementary school. Your picture may not be exactly like this one, but this one has Noah's Ark, Noah and the Ark, and so yours may have this. The little blue guy in the top left corner is named Vizzy, and Vizzy helps you to find things throughout. If you don't know what to do, click on Vizzy and he'll take you back to the home page of the OPAC. So it says KidViz, the Library Explorer's Toolbox. On the right side at the top, you see the arrow and you see search and go, googly eyes, you see a bag, an open book, and a lighthouse. We'll talk about those later. Also, you can see where you have Noah in the middle and around him, you have these circles that you can search. Hey, wait a minute, what's the question mark and exclamation point for, you might ask. Well, let's talk about that. So let me flip back. You see at the bottom in the circle, question mark and exclamation point. When you click on that, it'll open up information about the school. So the library information pops up. It has the school's address, phone number, and the librarian's web um, email address. It also has library hours and in addition to that you can see where the one arrow is pointing at the eye and the notebook and the link and the uh, messages that gives you more information so let's see if we click on those so this one is if you clicked on the chain or the length it gives you all the links that your library has loaded which are fantastic links Find a Book, Ben's Guide to U.S. Government, NASA Kids Club, National Gallery of Art. So you have so many really, really good uh, links there. Hey, Dr. James, I need a book about the Statue of Liberty. I have a paper due tomorrow. 
Well, let's check out OPEC to find it. Mm hmm. So when we look at OPEC, it says people, places, sports and activities, nature, things and fiction. So for the Statue of Liberty, we're going to click on places. When you do that, it'll open up famous places, space, where I live, countries, continents, cultures and religion. So we'll click on famous places. You can even see the picture there. Then the third choice. Oh, look at that. We have quite a bookworm there joining us. Miss Smith from Thomas E. Edwards High. She is a bookworm. Monuments, parks, and cities. So let's click on monuments. And when you do, it will give you four results. Look at the top where the arrow is. It says search results for, for monuments. The circle or the oval around the number that's what's called the call number, and that's how you locate the book in the library. So these are numbers. It's a book in the 500s. But I don't see anything in these two about the Statue of Liberty. So let's go to the next two, a total of four. And you can see on the fourth one, even though the titles don't say anything about the Statue of Liberty, on the fourth book, A Picnic in October, it mentions Lady Liberty. So that's the only book in, that's listed in the library that has anything to do with Statue of Liberty. And if you were doing an actual research project, your librarian would help you to add digital and online sources to this. But we have one print book that deals with Statue of Liberty. Okay, Miss Warren says, let's look at some of the other amazing features of our OPAC. All right, let's look. Okay, look in this top right search button. You see Google Eyes, the bag, the book, and the um, lighthouse. So if you press Google Eyes, that's a simple search. You can search by keyword, title, author, subject, or series. And then you can also do an advanced or a combo search. When you're finished with your search, you can press clear. If you didn't do it the way you wanted, you can press cancel. And if you want to get out of it, you press the X. You can also go to the book bag before this. You just put in books that you want. This one, though, is the open book, and it's searching for study materials like AR. So if you're doing some kind of study program, you put in, you go to this book and it will help you find books that are in your study program. And the last thing is if you press that lighthouse, it'll take you to the main search, the main format. Instead of the KidViz, if you don't want to look at the KidViz, you can go to the main way we have it, and that's by going to the lighthouse. So sometimes teachers may go in and go to the lighthouse. And you have a lot of the same things in here that you had before. It's just you have the words, home, search, visual, links. You can do advanced combo or media search. So it gives you some of the same features. Okay, happy searching. Well, thanks, Ms. Roby. We will search happily. So I want you to search for a nonfiction book about butterflies, a book in a series, and see how many books we have in the series a search by author, a search by illustrator, a search by award, and some other searches. Search your school's OPAC to find the answer to these questions. How many books does our library have about dogs? How many books does our library have by Dr. Seuss? Search a topic that you're interested in. How many books does your library have on this topic? In your turn, go to your school's OPAC search for three different types of books, write down at least one book from each topic and tell if you can find the book using, see if you can find the book using the call number. Check out your favorite choice. So many books, so little time. That is so true, Ms. Johnson, another bookworm among these librarians. Now I say to you, go look for a book or two. And Dr. James says, you have a super day. Kapow!
So from all of the librarians, the super librarians, Sunflower County, go back through this OPAC study and see if you can find the books that you want. Have a good day.